Hello, 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 my friends. It is I, Nancy Matthews, one of the co-founders of Women's Prosperity Network, <laughs> Women's Prosperity Network, tongue twister. Um, it is so nice to be with you for this surprise bonus training this afternoon. And I brought my good friend, my personal and professional editor that worked on The One Philosophy with me, Patricia Iyer, is here today. And we're going to be talking about business writing tips. And I think it's actually perfect because yesterday on Wow Wednesday, I interviewed Janet Fish and we were talking about email marketing. And one of the biggest questions that came up was, you know, how do you write content that's actually engaging and going to keep people interested? So the timing couldn't be better, my friend, for you to be with us for this bonus training class. Thank you for making time and joining us. Are you there, my friend? I am. I thought you were thanking the listener or the oh, thank you. This you. Yeah. So, yes, I'm <laughs> glad to be here. And yes, I can talk. <laughs> and so while we're at it, I thank Pat for being with us today and sharing her wisdom and expertise. And yeah, I'm going to thank you. Thank you for the reminder, uh, Pat. Um, thanks for stopping in. You know, we are here at Women's Prosperity Network to support you in the resources, tools and connections so that you can take your mission and message to the masses, have a greater impact and a greater income while you're at it. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about my friend, Pat Iyer, that's with us today. Um, Pat Iyer, MSN RN, is a consultant, speaker, author, editor, and coach. She has written and edited, get this, 59 of her own books. She also coaches consultants and speakers um, that hire her to release the knowledge that's inside of them. She delights in assisting people to share their expertise by writing. Uh, Pat serves international and national experts as an editor, ghostwriter, producer of online courses, and she's also a medical and business writer. Pat is the host of the Business Writing Circle, which is a group dedicated to helping entrepreneur writers ramp up their skills. She is also the co-host of the National Speakers Association Authors Group and a C-Suite Network Advisor. Get a pen and paper, get ready, because we're jumping in with Pat Iyer. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> so you have done so much writing, worked with others to help them, you know, get their writing out there. Let's talk about first, what is business writing? If you own a business, there are so many different ways that you are asked to share your knowledge, whether that's through blogs, through email sequences, through opt-in offers, through maybe a chapter in a book. Mm -hmm. There are ways that you share your knowledge to show that you can understand the needs of the people who you want to serve. And when you understand your ideal customer, you formulate your language to meet those needs as you show that, yes, I can help you with those challenges and fears and frustrations that you are struggling with. Mm -hmm. right. And that's the kind of writing we want to do so that we can attract more clients and customers. I think one of the biggest challenges I hear people say is, oh, I need more clients. Okay, so what are you doing to let people know what your expertise is, right? Mm -hmm. One of the biggest pieces in the puzzle. Um, so let's talk a bit. I know you have a class, a couple of classes coming up where you're going to dive deep into business writing. And let me tell everybody right from the get go uh, that she's got a couple of classes coming up that you can join her and uh, get more in-depth tips. We're just giving you a couple of highlights today. Could you go ahead and share the link for them to register? Sure. Uh, the link is http colon forward slash, forward slash, mywriting.tips, forward slash, build. So that link is http colon forward slash, forward slash, mywriting.tips, forward slash, build. Yeah, there's a, there's, there's a lot going on there. And to help everybody out, I'm going to put it in the comments below. So here we go. I just dropped that in the comments. Thanks. 
Thanks. <laughs> and if you have any questions for Pat while we're on today about business writing, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll get them answered either live or on the replay. Um, so let's let's jump back. We we can now see the importance of you know the many ways that writing is essential. And what I see happening, and maybe you can speak to some tips to help uh, our listeners, you know you're supposed to write, whether it's a blog, a post on social media, an article for a magazine, an email that you need to send out, and then you sit down at the computer and you go, uh, what should I be writing about? Yes, that dreaded white screen that sits in front of us. Yeah. Uh, I talk to people commonly who are stuck with writer's block. and that freezing is preventable. One of the things that I recommend is that you spend some time every day doing a little bit of journaling, do a little bit of writing. You have inspiration that hits you, sometimes also at odd times. You're coming out of the shower and you think, I really need to do a blog about the connection between this and this and tell that story about how I was able to help a client and this is what I did. And these were the results. And let me tell you, you must have been with me coming out of the shower this morning because that's what happens to me. And I have the greatest intentions of sharing the story and then I don't. Like it's fleets in and out. Oh, that would be a really good thing to write about. Well, unfortunately, Nancy, as we get busier and busier, um, I think that the space in our brain fills up. And some things need to be jettisoned. Like you don't need to remember the best friend that you had in third grade, but sometimes that name is right there on the tip of your tongue and that blog that you want to write is gone. I recommend dictating notes to yourself on the phone, keeping mm -hmm. a pad with you when you um, have um, a little night table next to your bed. If you're driving down the road and you get an inspiration at the next light, grab that little pad and put the note. Don't do it while you're driving. However, I do have to emphasize that as a nurse who's worked on many cases involving car crashes, you do not want to distract yourself while you're driving, but you do want to keep that thought in mind to the point where it's safe for you to note that. And then when you are facing that white screen, you've got your notes. Yes, it would be perfect for me to tell this story or I need to make this point in my blog and I need to create create a specific call to action in my blog that leads my reader to the next program, the next product, the next service that I can provide to my ideal customer. Yeah, beautiful. And um, let me ask you a couple of questions, you know, to dovetail off of that. Do you recommend like designated writing time or creation time? Because I can have the idea while I'm in the shower, jot it down, and then it's a matter of actually going back and getting it done. I know that you are a great fan of time blocking, Nancy. I know your system and it's a great one. If you don't block off time to do writing, then it gets easily swamped with the endless stream of emails that comes in. I must get about 500 emails a day, and it is a struggle to keep up with just the emails that are accumulating. Some people are most productive first thing in the morning. Some people write late at night. Some people spend weekend time to do their writing you know from your own rhythms what works best for you. The key is to have discipline. And also, unfortunately for, for you, if you love to watch TV or movies, sometimes when you're working on something that involves concentration, you may have to take parts of your life and put them aside for a little while and mm -hmm. say, right now my focus is on doing this writing project, whether it's an email sequence, or it's accumulating a couple of blogs so that you're not always in that hand to mouth mode. Like, oh, right. it's Tuesday and I want to release a blog tomorrow. What will I write about? It's great if you can write a couple at a time and then schedule them to be released at the time that you want your blog to be visible to the public. So much better. And, and it's just about, you know, creating that space in your schedule and your structure so you're flowing with your own rhythms of creativity with what you want and ultimately getting the result out that you desire 
Absolutely. Yeah. Um, tell our audience a little bit about what they're going to experience when they join your class. I talk in the course um, in this master class, which is complimentary. I talk about some of the barriers, some of the things that people say to themselves. You know, we can be our own worst enemy. We can have a little spate of negative thoughts mm -hmm. that put us down. And that's our voice in our head. We talk about some of those obstacles that undermine your confidence or create fear and how you can overcome those obstacles. I also talk about the benefits of writing well. You know, we take it for granted. If we write well, we think everybody can write well. And that is certainly not true. Mm -hmm. I am lots of fun to go out to a restaurant with because um, uh, my husband will sit there and look at me and I'll be looking at the menu and I'll say, uh-oh. And he'll say, okay, Pat, what word did you find that was spelled incorrectly? <laughs> I am proofreading everything. And, you know, it's, it's not in the big chains. I have to say that the big chains, when I was going to a lot of restaurants, which I'm not doing at this point, I would say they did a great job proofreading their menus. But it's the smaller ones where you see something that looks perfectly good mm -hmm. to the person who wrote that menu. And the editor in me and in you goes, nope, that's not the way you spell that word. Mm -hmm. So the having sharp writing skills makes a huge difference in your business. And I share in the masterclass some of the ways that it makes a difference. Perhaps some things that people think about you as a business owner that you hadn't considered. Mm -hmm. And then we also go through what are we doing about writing in 2022? What are the trends? What's different? We've had a couple of years, unfortunately, where we've been more at home than we wanted to. Our reading patterns have changed. Our expectations about what we read and also the videos that we watch have changed. Yeah, and I bring in videos because they're increasingly important for us as business owners. And it's very helpful if you write a coherent, well-constructed script before you sit down and do your video, rather than hoping that inspiration will hit you as you're talking. I use an app on my iPhone when I record videos that is a teleprompter app, and I can watch it scroll through what I'm supposed to be saying and read it, still maintain eye contact with the lens and not look like I'm reading. Yeah, I have an app like that too. A big View, is that the one you use? Um, no, I use um, Teleprompter Pro, uh, Pro mm -hmm. Teleprompter Pro. And then I've used Big View and I've studied Big View. And I think Big View does something very similar and offers that kind of capability quite well. Yeah, it's and it's really key because most of us have been through, whether we're shooting a video or having a conversation and then you trail off and now, okay, how am I going to bring it back to the point and the reason you were doing the video in the first place? Mm -hmm. so writing that script out is absolutely key. Wonderful. Um, all right. So this was a quick sneak peek into what's available when you work with Pat. As I mentioned, she was the phenomenal editor for the third edition of The One Philosophy. Her and her team did a stellar job. And uh, one of the things that was really great about that is when you were helping me with the editing, you helped me see the focus on the reader even more so. So I love that that skill set that you bring to the table to remind us it's always got to be about them and what's in it for them and all of our, our business writing. So thank you personally, and thank you for being with us today. You're welcome. And I encourage viewers who haven't gotten a copy of Nancy's book to get one. It's well constructed, well done, and every edition has gotten better and better and better as we learn and have new experiences and bring in new points and new content. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, get the book. But first, register for the class. 
with Pat. She's got a couple of them coming up for you so that you can make writing for your business easier instead of daunting. Because I know it can, can feel like, oh, this big mountain of stuff. So work with Pat. Go to the free masterclass. I've got the link in the comments below. And we'll see you again soon for another pop-up bonus training, if not on another Wow Wednesday. Thanks again, Pat. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, everybody.